Hi all! The Italians make their fruit pies differently than we do, and they're called crostata. This is an open-faced pie, so it only has one layer of crust on the bottom, and then the center is filled with whatever fruit you want to use and folded up on the sides. It's really easy. The dough is a little bit different than ours. It has eggs in it and sugar, so it's much richer, but so delicious. Today I'm going to be making my crostata with apples and dried cranberries, but you could use any kind of fruit that you want, like peaches or pears, or you could mix a whole bunch of berries together. So please enjoy the video. I hope you get to make this for your holidays or any time of the year. The ingredients will be listed below in the description box, or you can go to My Italian Kitchen by Chef Diane Mantica on Facebook for the full recipe. Thanks a lot. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel yet, please do. Have a great day, have great holidays, and ciao. I like to separate my egg right in my hand. If you crack the egg right into your hand and you let the egg white strip through your fingers, you'll have a perfect egg yolk. I let my butter sit out for maybe a few hours. It's really important not to have ice cold butter in this particular crust. Salt is really important in baking. It really helps stimulate the flavors, just like it does with savory food. You know your dough is ready to work with when you can hold it in your hand and pinch it really tight and it doesn't fall apart. The dough is very dense because of the eggs and the milk and the sugar that you've put into the dough. So just be patient with it and just work it until it's smooth. If you're going to make the crostata right away, then just keep the dough out. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. But if you're not, you can place it in the refrigerator for up to one or two days. I'm adding some cinnamon because it's just wonderful with apples, but that's all up to you. You can keep this out if you'd like. Parchment paper is just amazing when you're baking. You really have to make sure you have it on hand. I like to press down in the dough with my rolling pin. It really helps start to flatten it out.
just smooth out those frayed edges. Don't forget this is a rustic tart so it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be easier to build your tart right on the cookie sheet. So that's why I roll it out on parchment and just transfer it onto the cookie sheet. Then all you have to do is get your fruit filling into it. Folding up your edges doesn't have to be perfect. This is not a perfect looking pie, so please don't worry about it. And in the end, after it's baked, it's going to be beautiful. Egg yolk glaze is a really common in France. They're used on croissants all the time, and you'll get a better glaze out of this, a really dark and rich color. I'm just sprinkling this with regular granulated sugar, but you can buy sanding sugar, which is more coarse, and it's really beautiful. Here's our beautiful fruit crostata. Let your crostata cool down just a little bit before you plate it. I love serving this on a beautiful platter. It just makes it way more elegant looking. You can also place this on a simple wooden board and carve it right off of that board. So please enjoy your rustic Italian crostata. This is great for the holidays or any time of the year.